Good morning. So this is another gear review and this is about this fantastic tripod and I think this tripod is the best value for money tripod that you can buy in 2023. It's the Inarel GT324C, bit of a mouthful, but let's see why it's such a great tripod. This is the first thing that's brilliant about this tripod. This has a pack size of of 53.5 centimeters. That is smaller than most travel tripods. Um, I would use this as a travel tripod and I'm going to because I think that although it's slightly heavier, hello train, um, <laughs> it's slightly heavier, um, it is so sturdy, it's unbelievable. Now the other thing about it, um, depending on how tall you are, it's really, really important. So a lot of tripods, I've tried um, Saru, um and, um, and other tripods like that um, that don't have a center column. And the problem with those tripods is they all go to roughly 120 centimeters. So 120 centimeters is down here somewhere at the bottom of the screen. Now that for a working height is a bit of a nightmare. Um, I, I'm 6'3", so for me, it's really, really hard work. Now, this comes with um, an alternative uh, small column, um, which I'm actually gonna put on it. So, um, so it's this size, because about, uh, this is about 141, a working base height. And that, with the ball head, with the camera on it, is perfect for me, and you get a tiny bit of maneuverability there. So. Um, and I mean, this thing's insane. Like, it can go up to here, which is uh, incredibly high. It's too high for it. I mean, once the once the cameras um, once the cameras on it, it's well, well above my head, and um, that's more than you need. Now, what's interesting is this um, uh, the the way that they've taken out um, um, chunks of the center column, made this triangular shape on the center column, and. Um, what that does is it allows it to pack down much, much tighter and there's far less space as you pack it down. So working height and pack height are both exactly what I need. The next thing is stability. So stability is so important. And um, I find that uh, I've a lot of smaller tripods, I've got a KNF tripod and it's fantastic, but in heavy weather, heavy rain, heavy wind, things like that, and if you're doing a long exposure um, shot, forget it. It's, it's fine in, um, in good weather, uh, but outside that, it just can't, it hasn't got the stability. It can't kind of hold the, um, uh, the, the camera down properly. This thing so far has been absolutely fantastic. Now, it comes from this, basically. This first section, if you see here, just about, if I get the focus right, sorry. Um, so this section here is 32 um, millimeters. So that's over three centimeters thick and all the way down to the bottom section, which is um, something like uh, 22 millimeters. So that is a massive width. Quite often travel tripods start at this, um, uh, at this scale. Um, so that's where a lot of the stability is coming from. The other thing, is the layered carbon fiber. Um, these uh, locks, these twist locks are absolutely fantastic and they're also dust proof. Um, and uh, that, uh, all these factors just make this a really, really good tripod. So when um, I look at something like this and when I, when I think about, you know, kind of um, the, the, the price, the price point and um, value, I would be considering tripods um, like, sorry, just check my focus is in. Um, sorry about that. Um, I'd be considering tripods like a Gitzo, which I also have, um, uh, a Benro Mac 3, or um, some other kind of solid carbon fiber tripod like that. The massive difference between these two is this packs up lighter, it extends higher, it's slightly heavier. It's about kind of uh, two, three hundred grams heavier. But this is the clincher. It's only 179 quid. Most tripods of this build quality um, 
and uh, you know the, the the locks on it, the carbon fiber, everything. Most tripods like this are normally at least 270, 280 upwards, up to about a grand for this amount of quality, and that's what makes this um, my preferred tripod. Every part of it, every element of it, is really, really well thought out. Yes, it's slightly heavier, but I would prefer that payoff of knowing my, tri my camera is going to be completely solid and secure on my tripod. These twist locks are brilliant as well. There are three, three um, uh, twist locks, four sections. Um, the feet are really, really sturdy. Um, they just screw on and screw off and you can put spikes in there and they're replaced. Personally, I never use spikes. Um, in terms of the twist locks, you can just unlock all three quite easily with one turn and just take it out. Um, in terms of twisting it back up, it's literally just one twist and it's done. These are really secure and they also don't seem to, I mean, they say they don't um, leave uh, any uh, dust or anything like that. They seem to be completely dust free. It's a really brilliantly made piece of kit. So here are the tripod feet. Now, although I don't use spikes, I'm just going to demonstrate um, how they go on. So you can see now there's a really, really long thread in here. So these coming off, the fact that they're rubberized at the end here, they're just not going to come off. They're really, really well made. Um, as well made as my Gitzo tripod ones. Right, this is the spike. So again, it, like, like many, many tripods, spike goes in like this. And then, you just take the Allen key and just turn it around like that until it's really, really um, tight. And there you go, your spike's on. Okay, so these leg locks are absolutely brilliant. They're really, really good quality. They're even dampened, taking them in and out. So you've got, like many, many tripods, you've got a couple of uh, different angles here. So you can go to there, and you can also go to here, and this tripod without the center column can go completely flat on the ground. So it's absolutely brilliant. Um, these whole areas seem incredibly well made. Um, the base plate for the tripod, again, is a kind of textured rubber grip on top. And that means that you don't get loads of slippage with your, um, with your ball hairs or whatever you choose to put onto it. Um, as it comes down, you can just lock it into place where you want it. It doesn't snap in that kind of slightly annoying way that some tripods do. You can just push it into place and away you go. This hook is really good quality as well. Um, when you push that in, um, this little orange bit releases so that you can change um, from the, uh, the, the short centre column to the long centre column. And this hook is really well made. So here I've just taken the, um, the, the large centre column out and um, just unscrewed the section and now I'm just going to tighten the allen key and put the small section on. Now this is really really versatile this will now go down to the ground. In terms of the working height for me um, this is really really important so when I get my um, uh, when I get my uh, ball hairs on the top this is the really, really important bit. So I am just going to move the camera up slightly so you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, because the ball head offers a lot more height, once you've, once you've got the ball head on, now what is lovely about, about putting this on this um, tripod as well is you get that rubberized top so it really sits solidly on here. Um, this can't come off either because, I'll tighten it up, um, this can't come off uh, because this is Allen keyed in, as you just saw, which is brilliant. And then it means that we haven't really got any height adjustability at all here, but at least you have got the, um, the flexibility of now getting this down to the ground. So, Working height then. So um, you can see that once um, you've got the, uh, the, sh the short column on, okay, once you've, got the, um, once you've got my ball heads here, once I've got my camera on top, the working height is pretty perfect. 
I mean, if I wanted to extend, obviously, like, you know, I could extend to up here, so my camera would be roughly kind of, you know, about a foot above my head, which is, I don't quite know what I'd use that for. Um, so I find this working height brilliant. Now, most tripods that are kind of travel tripods and this type of tripod are down here somewhere. Now, you start off thinking, okay, that's cool, that's fine, and you end up breaking your back because every time, I, it depends on how you photograph, but I look into the viewfinder a lot, so I photograph like this. Um, if you're tipping your, um, your, your screen up and you're looking down on it, then that's slightly different, but a lot of the time I use my viewfinder. So working height is really, really important. And then, obviously, you've got the centre column for any uh, particular kind of higher levels. Um, so I'll just put this uh, centre column down here for a second. Um, so the next thing is, if I um, take my tripod out like this, okay, then conversely, I can take this all the way down. Make sure that's up all the way. Okay, and this is now my working height. And again, that is absolutely brilliant. It's about, I don't know, about 15 centimeters off the ground, something like that, completely rigid. And it'll allow me to, I, I use this kind of height a lot when I'm doing um, seascapes and things like that, trying to get rocks in the foreground. Um, so this for me is brilliant again. So the other thing is, um, probably not gonna use this much, but um, the bag's brilliant. So a really, really thick, chunky bag. Um, that just uh, zips up like this. Um, it's got a shoulder strap, you can just whack over like that. And then um, a nice chunky handle that you can um, just Velcro strap together like that. Um, inside this bit, this is where the, um, uh, the, 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 the spikes are and the Allen keys for, for tightening your tripod and everything. Um, now, I just wanted to talk about another fantastic um, thing. And again, this company just doesn't shout about this. Uh, lots of companies say, oh, we're amazing. We've got a, we've got a two year warranty. Well, Inarel have got an eight year warranty. So they've got a lot of confidence in their products. Okay, so with every product, there are cons. So this is one of my main cons of this tripod. So with the center column in it particularly, I mean, I've taken the center column out now, and because there is not that much space in between these, uh, <laughs> in between the tripod legs, you can easily pinch your hands pretty badly in there. Um, it's a small thing. I mean, you've basically got to um, pay attention and look, look at what you're doing. Um, but having, not having that space in there, it's slightly, slightly harder to kind of hold and put together and things like that, but that's a tiny little gripe. Um, my main concern about it really is um, the longevity of these foam grips. And I think that the foam grips are brilliant in winter because um, they're much, much warmer than grabbing a piece of carbon fiber. Um, but ultimately, I'm not sure if you need it on all three um, legs and I'm not sure how um, it's going to wear after a, a few years of heavy use being strapped on camera bags and everything. Apart from that, I can't find any other cons at the moment. So that's my review of the Inarel GT34C. It's a brilliant all-rounder tripod and for the price I think it's an absolute bargain. I think it's one of the best bargains you can buy in 2023. So for now, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.